Uh, any update on Jamal? Uh, no, no updates. Um, you just were joking about the weather a second ago, but you said y'all are prepared. How do you prepare for 98 degrees? Well, for now, we're just preparing for Cincinnati. Of course, uh, uh, we know what we're going to face uh, Saturday in Frisco, but uh, yeah, okay. now the only focus is, is on, on Cincinnati and how good they are and how to face the best team in the league at the moment and to be successful. Is this a, you know, you've won the past two games, won them very well. But beating the Supporters Shield favorite right now, would that be a chance to for the club to make a statement that it is a, a definitive MLS Cup contender? Well, we're basically saying the same, right? They are they are the best team so far. They have they are the team with most points. They're been very dominant with their style. They have many players in good shape, um, uh, good in attack, good in defense. Um, so it's a very complete team. And yes, of course, it's uh, something that motivates us to, to have a good game and, uh, and yeah, and continue with the good momentum of the group. The, um, the Seattle game, they had some chances to score, but y'all kept them off the score sheet. It looked like the defense was much tighter uh, in, the, in the last game. Um, when you went back and watched film, what improvements did you see, both in the press and the communication, that, that maybe can be applied going forward? Yes, I think uh, we, I mean, in any game, th there are chances, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's the amount of chances, how clear are those chances that you give away, the ones you take. Um, uh, I, I feel like the, the back four is a bit more cohesive. I think Rosetto and Tristan are doing a great job at uh, reading the crosses and the cutbacks, and they, they are regaining a lot of those. Um, so the, the unit work uh, in, in our own third, I think, is working very good. Uh, I always say this about, you know, it's limiting with the guys up front, trying to limit the options of the defenders so they cannot find clear passes. So then we limit the chances also to, 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 to receive receive many, many chances. I think that's, uh, that's the, the style of the team is trying to defend as a team, but uh, ultimately in the lower block, goalkeeper, center backs, full backs, center meets, they have to do that work inside the box and defend, uh, you know, uh, very well. And I think we are doing that. In general, we don't, we don't uh, give away many, many clear chances. Y'all just faced one MVP candidate, Mukhtar, and did a, a good job containing him. Now you've got another coming up, and Acosta, who has a, a really positive history of success against Atlanta United, at least individually. Um, 13 matches, he's got like six goals and three assists or something like that. What is the key to limiting his effectiveness? Having the ball the same as with Mukhtar is, is if we are able to sustain the ball, to have longer possessions, uh, higher on the field, the active defending, always keep an eye on those three up front. Um, you know, it's full determination to make it difficult for them, uh, especially in transition where they are being very, very good. Um, so it's, it's just about that. Um, of course, the individual battle, the individual duel against Acosta, we have to do well. We have to make sure that he's not comfortable on the field. Uh, but at the same time, I think they are thinking the same about Thiago. So I, I would say that uh, we both uh, teams have a special player. Uh, and, you know, I think last time Thiago was very good against Mokhtar, if you can call mm -hmm. it like that. So um, I think uh, I think Thiago is also in a very good shape. And, and I think his momentum and the way he, uh, you know, activates many players in attack, Shande, Gigi, um, you know, Edwin, Sava, I think he's putting a lot of assists for many players. So he's making everyone up there better. Uh, the quality we're getting now from the flanks, from the nine, from the midfielders. I mean, the, the Caleb Wiley is the Brooks Lennon going forward. I think we have enough power to, to, to be a good uh, attacking team tomorrow. You've had the, uh, selected the same starting lineup for the past two games, game on Wednesday, another game on Saturday. Uh, is there any consideration for, for just changing some of the guys out to keep them fresh? you got the two-week break coming up, so I know that might be a factor, too, or the week break coming up. Yeah, not many. To be honest, I, I would like to keep as much as I can. Of course, there are a few guys that we are monitoring and that in the recoveries, but, uh, you know, um, if, if I do a few changes, it's going to be one or two, not, not many. And what's uh, Ozzy's status? Uh, we did, he was training, and then we saw him on the injury report with the knee. Yeah, yeah, he's better. He's better. It's not the knee. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, it's not the knee. Uh, that's the good news. He's not the knee. Um, and he's progressing well. Uh, actually, it's not a big, big injury. So, we're expecting him hopefully soon. Uh, and, yeah, uh, 
I think uh, out of the bad news that, that he got injured, is the good news is, is not as severe as, as you could have thought. Happened in training? Yeah, yeah, okay. in training. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Gonzalo, uh, on Saturday you talked about the pairings on the field uh, between certain players and how they're working out. Could you kind of describe what exactly you like about, for example, the midfield pairing of Moyumba and Roseto and then kind of Almada with the, with the wingers? Yeah, I think it's the cohesion both in attack and defense. For example, in possession, how Tristan and Rosetta are understanding how to occupy different spaces in behind the number nines or the attackers for the opposition and how they can find different passing lanes from Brad, from the center backs, and then from there how they can combine and progress the ball forward into our attacking players. I think that understanding and that cohesion, those one-two passes they do and then they break, um, they move for each other. And then defensively they understand the roles. One one is a bit maybe more aggressive, the other one sits back and when one is outside the position the other one holds the middle for me it's very important that we always have at least one pivot at offensively and defensively that's very important and I think those two are understanding very good if you remember Rosetto is more of an eight rather than a six so at times he has tendencies to go forward and in those moments uh, uh, Tristan is understanding that and just just um, staying instead of Rosette. Uh, at times it's the double pivot and they understand very well how to shift over, how to press, how to cover. So those little things that they, they are doing on their own, uh, the more time they play together, I think the more cohesion they, they will have. Uh, I asked Edwin about this a little bit earlier, uh, but sometimes like during the Seattle game and the Nashville game, you find him and Shande on the same sides, uh, kind of just passing amongst each other and you know, creating chances that way. Uh, is that something that you encourage them to do? Is that something you tell them to do? Or is that something that comes from them? I'm sorry, Shande and whom? Uh, Edwin. And Edwin. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, at times, I, what, what I tell them is uh, I like fluidity. And it's just, you know, one is playing on the right side, the other one is playing on the left. But there are moments, there are transitions, you know, there are certain moments where the play uh, develops like you know, Shande is dribbling inside and then he continues dribbling and then suddenly he plays a wall pass with Tristan and then he's next to, to Edwin, right? For me, it's how we balance on the opposite side. We always want to have players on the outside channels. We want to stretch the back five, the back four of the opponent. So if we have that, then, okay, Shande is on this side. Who's, who's covering for him in there? How we balance the team around that? And we all understand that because it's then if we don't cover for each other, then it's chaos and it's just anyone can move wherever they want and it's not is if the play develops like Shande is in a different position who's covering for Shande's position if Thiago drops then who's going in the pocket instead of Thiago and then who's attacking that space that someone else leave and that rotation and that cohesion on and understanding on the roles uh, understanding the tactics as well I think that's that's what I ambition uh, I would say that at times is still disorganized but most of the times I think we have a good sense of where where are the, the players in their roles and how we can cover. What has Saba brought to the club so far? I know it's been a short amount of time. Well, a lot of enthusiasm, number one. That's great to see when, when you bring players to Atlanta, you want players that want to be here, that want to, uh, you know, are passionate about being here. And since day one, since we did that Zoom call a, co a couple months mm -hmm. ago, recruiting him and trying to talk to him, uh, one of my highlights is his, his eyes. They were bright at coming to Atlanta. He already knew a few things about us, about the team, about the league, and, and he was just, just looking forward to this opportunity. And then when he landed here, he's bringing the same passion and he's just amazed with the, the training facilities and with the, the quality of the players around him. And uh, that, that excitement, I think, helps that energy, positive energy. So that's number one, uh, and it's very good. And, um, then on the soccer side, I think he will provide a lot of uh, fluidity on the right side as well. I think he's one that can unbalance in different ways uh, the back lines. Uh, he's very good at making runs in behind. His timing is pretty good. He can start inside. He can start outside. He can have a good 1v1s. He has a very good delivery from crosses uh, and adds some quality in that part of the field. So uh, mm -hmm. I think that's what he will bring. Uh, and, you know, we're very happy with what we see so far. Were you surprised that he knew so much about Atlanta United, or is that just kind of a testament to what, you know, this club has done over the last couple of years? Yes, I think it's a combination of factors, of course. Uh, uh, Atlanta is big. I think Atlanta United is is a team that is well recognized um, in in the world of football. Um, 
but it's also him that you know he was willing to learn about the culture of the city of the teammates of what is this about and, and it's again the excitement he has he, he just wants to be here he wants to be successful here no matter what and that is what i need that that's that's the type of passion that they are showing tristan was very similar shandy has been very similar and that energy that positive vibe that they bring like come on guys we want to be successful here that that is that is very very good do you think that infusion has kind of helped with the recent success is that kind of fed into that I would say so. You can see the three of them, the, the additions, even Edwin. Edwin is for us an addition to the team, and they are all, you know, excited to be part of the team. They, they, you, you can see it. They, they, they are just anxious to, to be in the games, and, and they want to be successful, uh, and that helps. It's again positive energy, positive vibes, um, and and they are just just willing to do whatever they need to do to be successful. I mean, you, you see the last game, one play where Caleb Wally was overlapping there, and then you saw Shande uh, sprinting almost 60 yards back and just defending 1v1 here at the corner. That Those those little details for me are fantastic. Then uh, Saba, I told him, hey, I don't want you to to defend too deep because I, I need you higher in the field and for transition especially, so defending the lower block and whatever. And then he was playing wing back because the situation was like that. And he was defending there. So those little details for me are telling me that if my attacking players, that the best thing they can do is attacking, they are willing to defend, they are willing to chase, they are willing to come and do whatever they need to do for the team to be successful and cover for their teammates, uh, I think that's that's great. That's what you want out of the team. You want, okay, I play my role and, and then the others have to cover. No, 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 no. It's, it's okay. If someone is missing, I cover his role and I do whatever I have to take to save this play. Then I will recover. But uh, I think that mentality overall from the whole team, but especially those new additions, uh, of course, are, is helping to the, you know, the energy and the vibes of the team. How impressive is that knowing, you know, how little time they had to prepare and train together and kind of know, to know what their teammates are supposed to be doing in certain situations. How impressive is it that they were able to step in that way to kind of do that? Well, I think I think uh, they've been long time in football. That's what you want when you bring senior guys, senior players. They've been through. I mean, Saba has been successful in three different leagues and has so many games in behind in his pocket. Same with Shandy. Shandy's been playing, you know, France, uh, uh, England, uh, uh, Portugal. Like he's been around the world in different environments, so they get experience with that. And now for them, the adaptation process is easier because they've been through that a lot. So so for them, it's easy. Just just to come and apply and play and adapt quickly to the teammates. But again, that positive energy, that vibe, same with when Jaco arrived, it's the same, you know, and you can see how much effort Jaco put since the very beginning to adapt, and he adapted very well to the league and to the teammates. So uh, that's very happy, very, very happy. It makes us very happy to, to have that in the new players. Okay, Thank perfect. You, Thank you, guys. Thank you. Anybody else? Has